Well, here we are in round one. Um, we have all of our colors. We got this. And we got a way to trigger it. So yeah, I'll keep this terrible hand. This terrible, terrible hand. Newt! Of course we draw another planes. The Newt. He's so festering. Look at him. Gross. All right, blue, black. Come on, bring it in. Can't block. All right, all right. Hive stirrings. We'll get a couple one ones down next turn. Still won't be able to block festering you because then we'll just trade one and one will die. So that's unfortunate. But uh, he didn't have a two drop, so that makes things a little bit easier to swallow. Three drop, however, is the Warden of Evo Sile. Oh my goodness me. All right, well, uh, yeah, Hive Stirrings it is. So we'll be dropping the Accord next turn. Here's the new badass Predator Sliver tokens. Something happened to them slivers. Something dark. Yep, not going to block. All right. Ah. Oh. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. So now what I want is for him to play any... <laughs> These guys are not blocking, so they're going to attack. Any enchantment or artifact. Something that doesn't kill this. That would make me happy. Though I worry that he's going to cast some big flyer off the Warden. If he doesn't, I may be in the position of having to cast Blessings, or a Blessing on a Sliver. Whoa! What's this guy do? And enters the battlefield, target opponent puts the top five cards of his or her library into the graveyard. He may cast an instant sorcerer from among them without paying his mana cost. Uh-oh. 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 We have another Solemn Offering in the deck. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, wrecked. Wrecked. All right. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's get really silly then. Can't block the Mind Seeker. But at least I'm not dying as badly as I was previously. Really want him to play like a pacifism or a claustrophobia. Well, not a pacifism, but like a claustrophobia or something. I'm not just going to throw my wall away. I'm going to put a blessing on that wall next turn, though. And then he won't be able to attack. So, so that'll be nice. So I'm taking four here, but I'm going to be gaining two, two, two back next turn at least. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. Oh, I should have worked out my whole turn before I did that, because I might have actually been playing the the thing there. Yeah, I am I am actually going to be playing the staff, because that's three, and then I'll have two to play the blessing, and one to pump the blessing, which is enough to kill the mind seeker. so. I should have played the other staff first. Missed out on one, one life point there. Which actually means I would have gotten an angel. So that's supremely relevant that uh, I messed that up. That is a shame. Hopefully he doesn't have the bog brew witch. 
Uh, that's why it's important to work out your whole turn before you just slam lands. Oh, sea kite. All right. So, pro tip, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> uh, what's my opponent thinking of now? Perfect. All right, I'm gonna actually, I mean, that sucks, because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage this turn, but as long as I'm not just straight up dead, which I don't think I am. Two, four, six, eight. All right, well, I'll trade off for these newts because it's minus one, minus one, so it still isn't enough to kill my wall. Uh, and then I take eight. And I can use the Claustrophobia, get myself an Angel. Would have been a lot better if I would played last turn correctly and actually gotten an Angel last turn like I should have done. Alrighty, so um, unfortunately this thing's still not going to untap, but I will have that Angel, so that'll be nice. Um, I'll just do that right now. Gaining a life, gaining a life. Solemn Offering kills that. So I'm going to get an Angel here. Um, there's no reason for me to play this planes, so I'm going to hold it because then if I get a spell or another planes next turn, I can gain another four life next turn and get another angel. I will happily trade this off for his mind seeker, though I don't think I'm going to get that chance, so I'll just have to... I don't know, maybe he just doesn't attack at all. I mean, I'm going to eat or... I'm going to eat either of his other flyers or trade for the mind seeker, so... Well, going to combat. Let's see. Well, he's giving me the chance. 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 I can speak. He's giving me the chance, so I'm gotta, I gotta try. I assume he's got something, but I can't just let this keep beating me turn after turn. Also, taking eight here is not viable. Ah, ring flesh. All right. Well, I don't take the damage, so that's good. Hmm. All right, so I got the wall back online. That's a little unfortunate, because the flare... I can't cast the flare this turn. Um, and I'm only going to gain two doing it on his turn. So I, I'm still going to hold that planes, because... I'm going to be casting the flare on his turn regardless, so I still want to sandbag it so that if I get another planes or spell, I can gain four life on my following turn. So I can make the wall a 6-10. So hopefully he doesn't have a way to just kill it, though it's looking that way. Liturgy of Blood. Yes, sir. Nothing I can do about that. Still not dead, though. Going to one here. Ooh, Child of Night. All right. Going to... Well, going to one and then gaining two, and et cetera, et cetera. All right. Sack one of your guys, please. So I gain two there, then I take six and go to... Uh, uh, right, I gain two and go to nine... Then I take six and go to three, because he's probably going to sack, I don't know, the sea kite. All right. Back down to three. Any spell or even a planes next turn, and I get another angel. Soulmender works for me. 
it, yeah. Soulmender, get out there. And planes. All right, pass the turn. Back up on seven already. Get another angel. Now I've got my soul mender to combo with either of my uh, divine favors to gain a full four. Even if I have to, even if I have to divine favor on the soul mender. Well, the drafting portion was a mess, but I am enjoying. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <sighs> All right. Well, let's see what your trick is this time. Once again, I have to go for it. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I don't really feel like taking six, and that four four is just a beating I can't. I can't deal with. Oh, and he let it go. All right. He's just going to try and race me. I, I I suppose. Little tenacious D, and that's the turn. Uh, planes there is a real shame. Um, so he's got five power, uh, and this is me going to one. Yeah, I can't, I can't sandbag the planes here, unfortunately, because I need the, I need the life gain just to live, so, which is not a, not a great situation to be in. Uh, and it looks like I'm probably going to have to, well, I guess if... Actually, if I trade the, the Soul Mender for the Child of Night, then I would still have only gone to one. So maybe that was a better play. But if he has pre-combat removal, then I think I still need to uh, trade it for the Child here. Yeah, so I'd be at, uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Darn, if I'd held that planes, then I could have done this and the planes and then gotten two, two four fours at the end of this turn. Uh, although, playing it now puts me back up to five and he still doesn't have me dead, so let's do that. I'm going to plane to my outs here. If I get a Solemn Offering next turn, um, I can destroy one of my own st staves and uh, get two angels. Or maybe he'll do something. Who knows? He's got F6 here. There's nothing I can do. No matter what he does. Go to two. He's got two cards in hand. He's got to have something. This is Corrupt. Sanguine Bond. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. All right. Well, I'm still holding on. But this doesn't help. This only gains me enough life to... Uh, well, I guess I get to block the Tenacious Dead. So that's good. Make him, make him lose some mana. As long as he doesn't gain a bunch of life... If he just, uh, I mean, Sanguine Bond doesn't matter. If he just slams Mark of the Vampire on this warden, we're dead anyway. So, this at least blocks his Tenacious D. Well, if this deck does one thing well, it's hold on for dear life. <laughs> so, we're in an all right position in that regard. Alter's Reap. All right, so he's sacrificing the D to draw some cards, and then he's going to pay to return it, I assume which is fine, because that means he's not actually going to be casting the cards he draws. It's interesting that you have to do that right away when it dies. Really need a way to gain. Ah, he took the cauldron. Oh, well, he's already used up his newts, so. I really need a way to gain four life. Actually, getting my, um, getting
Getting my other Solemn Offering here would be huge, because now he has two viable targets for it. And he is now... Ah, of course, he's sacrificing a creature to gain four life, and then I will then lose four life and die. All right, fair enough. Well, I think our deck can actually... I think this can work if... Uh, oof. Oof. <laughs> If we draw just a little bit better. All right. Um, not much in the way of sideboarding. Uh, I guess he has the the newts are reasonable targets for the rod there. Um, so we could maybe bring in the rod. But I think the deck is doing what we want it to do regardless. So I'm just going to run it back as it is. All right, back, and we will play first. That's what we like to see. Let's keep it. Luckily, uh, blue-black doesn't have a lot of good ways to deal with enchantments. So I don't think I'm going to be sandbagging my Oromancer. There's that newt again. A little off curve, but there's a soul mender. That's good. That's very good. That means we'll have him online the turn we play the Archangel. No blocks. Still has summoning sickness, so can't gain a life this turn. Child of Night, alright. So yeah, I'm going to bring in the Oromancer now. Um, although, I guess I could hold up Show of Valor... Maybe that's better. No, I think I'll just play play the Oromancer as a 2-2. Maybe trade it off for the Child of Night. We'll see how it works. How, how it goes, rather. No one him gaining any more life than he's going to anyway. Come on in. Come on in, the water's fine. All right, well, not going to block that. And no play. And no play. Oh. oh, there's that warden again. Sweet. All right, well, we've got, uh, we've got, Ways to gain life, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Um, no point in attacking. My Oromancer will be a 3-2. Or sorry, a 3-3 three, three next turn, because I'm going to play the Archangel and immediately activate Soul Mender. Or, I guess, uh, probably not immediately. I'm going to play the Archangel and then do something. All right, so I think I'll just trade Show of Valor for the Child of Night here. get it off the table, and uh, use my mana. So Ring Flesh... Uh, ah, good. Show of Valor means that this will still be enough to kill the Child of Night. And live. So it's a 4-6, and then a 1-5. So... Uh, I inadvertently got a two-for-one out of that. Which is spiffy. And the Blood Baron. All right. Blood Baron's going to be annoying to deal with. Steel form sliver. All right, well, nothing better to do but then to get the Archangel down. Fortunately, I can attack into the Blood Baron and just die because he can just sack the Festering Newt to it. In fact, he might be sacking the Festering Newt to it anyway uh, just to kill the Soul Mender. So I'll just wait until he does that before I tap the Soul Mender.
domestication. That is unfortunate. The beginning of your end step, if enchanted creature's power is four or greater, sacrifice domestication. Well, you know what? Its power is going to be four or greater. I mean, he's going to sacrifice it to the Blood Baron, but at least this way he doesn't keep it. At least, no, I don't know, maybe he'll miss it. Maybe he'll miss that. Maybe taking a bit of a beating here, but somehow I don't really see him missing the heal. He'll, he can just sack the Archangel. Still has summoning sickness, though. All right, I take six. Oh, it's a triggered ability, so he'll just sack it now. Miss it. Miss it. Give it back. Darn. Well, that was a pretty good turn for him. Going to swing in with the Oromancer here because there's no reason not to. I guess I could have also held that planes. I'm going to hold on to the Solemn Offering, obviously, because there's no targets right now, but even if he presents a target, I'm going to wait until I get one of my two Angelic Accords down because I know that he has targets for the Solemn Offering. And he only saw one of them. And I've got two Accords in the deck, so... Come on in with the Warden. Don't care. Nothing else to do. All right. Well, okay. Two Solemn Offerings, sure. Uh, I feel like I can pretty freely attack here because he's got to give up one of his guys to kill either of these guys. All right. Now we're in a bit of a race. Hopefully he doesn't have some way to just poop out tokens and then sack them all to the Blood Baron, because then I'd be in a lot of, in, in an awful lot of trouble, but I should only be taking four, four here. Of course, this takes me to six. Oh, well, Hive Stirrings is helpful. There'll be a pair of one-twos, uh, which I will use one of them to chump the Blood Baron next turn. Pretty much regardless of what he casts. In fact, if he doesn't play a creature pre-combat, I will probably just double block the Blood Baron, because then if he wants to kill both of them, he has to sack his Warden. If he plays Sanguine Bond or the Bubbling Cauldron, I will probably just immediately slam Solemn Offering. Quag Sickness. Ooh, that's a shame. All right, nothing I can do about that. Because it's an enchantment, but it immediately kills it, so I have no time to remove it with the Solemn Offering. State-based actions. Uh, so now... Yes. You're not willing to sacrifice your warden, are you? All right, cool. Well, come on in then. Well, he's got me dead in two turns. I really wanted to play... Sanguine Bond here. The Cauldron, unfortunately, he can gain some life from, but... Uh, but I would accept that as well. Alright, looks like he's going for it, so I will similarly go for it. Force him to do something. I hope that all he does is sack the Warden. Oh, looks like that's what he's doing. 
Okay, I misinterpreted the highlighting there. Is he going to ring flesh one of these guys? Oh, Alter's Reap. Wow, okay. Nothing. All right. There's the Accord. I'm about to have to do something really stupid. Is this just cancel? Darn. I really wanted to get to do the stupid thing. I was going to solemn offering my own angelic accord. Oh, well, then its ability wouldn't trigger. But still, though. Well, all I can hope is that he pre-combat plays an artifact or enchantment. No. Darn it! I really wanted this deck to get there. But it just quite can't quite. All right, well, maybe, maybe round two will be better. 